Hi, welcome back to the Hicks Homestead YouTube channel. So I had a question answered by Pecron about uh, DC bonding these two power stations when using the uh, 240 volt setup. The issue is because of the way the electrical panel is, and right now I have my water heater turned off. I'll go ahead and turn that on. And you can see we are pulling about 2,400 watts in each unit. So because things in my house are on different breakers, like my fridge is on one breaker, that's all almost always on. And then I have some other things, uh, fans and on in, in my master bedroom. So the loads on each power station are not equal. And what happens is over time, that creates a imbalance. So my case before, um, power station one here was discharging at a faster rate than power station two. Now in other battery systems, you can just add an extra battery to this and kind of balance it out. But I wanted to use the batteries in this system to flow into this system. And this is what I came up with right here. So this is an MJ32. It does not have any data plugs in it. It's a six gauge 105C rated up to 600 volts. And it's a stranded tinned wire. And so far, this is, test has been going on since about 8 o'clock this morning. And everything seems to be uh, working. So, a water heater just kicked off. We're back down to uh, roughly the same load. So, we're about 320 there and then 390 over here. Uh, I was able to use my oven this morning. That was the reason that I turned the water heater off. I didn't want the water heater coming on at the same time as the oven because this system does not have the capacity to output um, over the uh, 7,200 watts between the two units. So that's why I turned my water heater off too not overload and trip the system offline. So far, the, the test is running good. We're going to keep the test running until this afternoon, get the batteries down to about 50%, and then I'm going to put everything back on the grid. So thanks for watching.